Top 5 Reasons Why Daylight Savings Time Must Die. Oh, and by the way, before we start the video, make sure to like this video and subscribe. And comment anti, comment just the words anti candy if you already finished all your Halloween candy. And I will be, I will make sure to pin and heart your comment. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Today we will be talking about, as you see from the title, how daylight savings time is terrible and the ways that it should um, stop and how people think it would stop. So, let's start off with number five. It wastes electricity. Well, it saves electricity, I mean... Well, daylight saving time is good for some reason. Like, when we skip the hour, it saves electricity since it's darker. Um, it gets brighter and stays bright more. But, yeah. Number four. Daylight savings time changes nothing. Well, a lot of you may be thinking, like, Oh my god, the clock's gonna change. I don't know how it does it. Benjamin Franklin can't, needs to tell us, like, how does he push the sun down further? Well, actually, it's just the clock changing. There's no actual difference throughout the day. Like, it just seems so long and so short when we skip the extra hour. And when we skip that hour, it becomes short because the extra hour um when we skip to two o'clock it seems like it's sunnier um from 7 a.m which it actually gets an hour earlier when you could just have the clock and when it changes but it's going it gets nothing actually happens like all it does is, is the clock changes an hour back, so the sun won't go down or won't go up. Problem number three. Getting tired and annoyed. Now, most of you may know, when daylight saving time goes away, it, um, it just leaves, it leaves you with a really long day that you can't be entirely used to until a week well and when it, it makes the sky get dark earlier but when daylight savings time comes it makes it can damage people's sleep like they have to go to work at seven and like it can make you miss an hour of sleep like you might not wake up but at the right time like 7 a.m you'd skip to it would actually be 6 a.m. so you would have time but like you won't be used to it number two this is actually a good thing about it but it gives farmers more time it kind of does I guess but like as I said in number four it it kind of waste it's just kind of waste time to do that. It's kind of annoying changing it back to what I said in number three. But in number four, I said like it could, it would be like, so, so say um, that you are a farmer, okay? You get used to it, but like you wake up later, but you'll still have an extra, quote unquote, extra hour to do your work. And finally, at num up at number one, we have, at number one, we have the, um, the, um, the extra hour of sleep, which is good. People get one hour of sleep extra, which is good, what well, I kind of talked about on number two, but on num this one, they get the extra hour of sleep instead of lose it. Well, folks, what do you think is the worst part of daylight savings? And what do you think is the worst part of it ending? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you want, type in anti-candy. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.